Hey, we are back, and today we are knocking out Bing Places. So, we are still working on ECM landscaping and lawn care, and we are to the point where we need to set up Bing Places for this business. So, uh, I have their website up so I can reference uh, the data on that, and I am going to Google Bing Places, just like that, and it's the top listing. So it's just bingplaces.com, and we'll go here. So I have all the other businesses that I have in my Bing Places account. You probably don't have any, that's fine. I'm gonna go add a single business, and I'll go ahead and add by the phone number. So we'll just type the phone number in here, and get started. So, if your business is on Bing places already, then you know it may find a duplicate listing and you may want to verify that listing or something like that. So there's a chance someone else put your business on Bing places. Like people can put your business on uh, Google Maps, they can put it on Bing places. So even though you may have never done it, you may actually have one of these and it may not have accurate information. So we're gonna go create new business and we need to keep all of our um, everything the same. So this is our business name. This needs to be exactly how we want it across the web. So ECM landscaping and lawn care. And I'm actually going to double check that in Google My Business. You always want to uh, make sure it's exactly the same because I'm like not 100% confident I have the and capitalized and I didn't. And I think that looks better without the and capitalized right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Like that is what I mean by literally exactly the same. It needs to be exactly the same. So <clears throat> phone number again, boom, boom, boom. And we'll grab the address here. So address, Binsley Court, they're in Raleigh. Zip code 27615, state. North Carolina and the website is HTTPS ECM lawns.com so you notice the the business name does not have to be exactly the domain name so we wanted a nice short short domain name ECM lawns got the point across and was available so we need to pick a segment of business for this lawn care and landscaping company It's gonna fall under professionals and services click done and then we add the categories right here. So landscaping and lawn service, just like that. I'm gonna pick landscaping as their primary, as um, you know, made that decision based off how they want their name to be landscaping and then lawn care. So that's that. Uh, I copied and pasted in a uh, bit of text I had so had a little typo right there make sure there's no more typos and good so i pasted in my description you're gonna want to think about your description put some keywords in there all that kind of stuff do you deliver goods and services to your customers at their location why yes they do so uh, the service area we're gonna put rally boop we're gonna put wake forest and we're gonna put carry so there we go so if we go to their Google my business real quick and go to info so we can see all the information we have the same things in here and we actually have North Raleigh so let's see if North Raleigh is picked up by being also and it is so there we go so we have all of them we're actually gonna hide this address and so the address actually uh, messed up on me. So I'm gonna need to go back. And this is something that Bing does and I did not catch that. So this is actually rally. And yeah, so Bing likes to change that on you. I didn't catch it the first time. I'm really glad I caught it uh, the second time. <laughs> so that's that make sure bing doesn't mess some stuff up for you um yeah so 
good deal. We're looking good. Next, it's stuck. We can see it right there. The address is still stuck. So perfect. Uh, we still have all this in there. Great. And then email. So the email for this is going to be an employee's email. It's going to be Robin B at ecmlawns.com. I'm a big fan of using a person's name instead of info or sales or service. I just think it, um, you know, makes you sound like you're doing business with a person. But obviously, there's a time and a place for whatever you feel is appropriate. Since we do not have any of these accounts yet, this company has no internet presence. We'll need to come back and populate these. TripAdvisor is not going to apply to this business, but we will definitely make a Yelp and a Facebook for them. And a Twitter is arguable, but I would actually recommend to make a Twitter. Um, even if you're not going to use it, maybe just post up, hey, we're not active on Twitter. Check us on our website something like that just to have that profile have that citation directory listing from a social major social network like that and then photos of the business so basically just going to want to dump in some photos here i actually don't have any ready for the video purposes but you're going to want to put at least your logo and you know 10 to 20 pictures of your work um, i'd recommend to put like you know some pictures of employees your truck um, uniforms, equipment, every type of service that you do display that very clearly. So all that kind of stuff. So we'll add those at a later date. Working hours. Yeah, we want to show our working hours. And I actually do not know this business is working hours. So it is really that easy of picking uh, the hours. You just turn them on and enter your, um, your range right there. And if you want to show special hours, you know, note that you're closed on Christmas, stuff like that. Highly recommended to let these search engines know you are keeping up with your, uh, you know, the way your business is represented online. And they really appreciate that. So uh, that's it. We are to the, we're done with the initial setup. So it is really that quick and easy. Um, We'll send this postcard, although Bing allows you to verify by downloading the app. So I'll actually just send this to my client at a later date or here, here in just a little bit after the video and have him uh, download this app on his phone and verify his business in, instantly. Uh, so that'll be cool. But we'll just go ahead and say I'll verify on the app. And yeah, so get the link. So there's the link. So now I can text it to my client and that'll be that. So perfect. And that's really all there is to it. So Bing Places is very similar to Google My Business. Um, a lot of the same fields, features, all this stuff. Bing does not allow for reviews. They actually use Yelp's reviews. So that is why it is so important to have a Yelp account, even though they are like so, 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 so annoying and over the top. So we have this client good to go as far as being connected to Google My Business, Bing Places, Bing Webmasters, Google Search Console, and Google Analytics. So those are five things you should definitely set up, no doubt about it. Uh, Yelp is another one, so we'll set up a Yelp account for them and that'll be that so <laughs> if you like the video found value in the video uh please remember to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them just leave them in the comments and until the next video you already know keep making money